Greetings, beautiful. Yes, I do mean you. It is Friday. I'm at the end of my work day. I'm feeling good. It's been an exciting, productive week. I'm wearing my authentic I am shirt. Did you love those shirts? These are empowered squared shirts. Anyway, what I came to talk to you about is I'm dropping a Friday gym. Like this is your margarita right? <laughs> it's your empowered margarita for the night. And then after you're done, you can have a real one. But anyway, I'm dropping a Friday night gym. And I want to share this. I want to talk about a colloquialism that is actually impeding your greatness. What you say, Imani? Yes. There are some things we say to ourselves and to each other that are just like, it's designed to make you feel good, but it's just not real, right? And it's in the way of what you're trying to accomplish. So what is the colloquialism? It is, you did your best. When you knew better, you did better. And we say this as a way of comfort. But here's the deal. There are times you know good and well you did not do your best. I mean, let's just keep it real. There are times when you know you had 30 days to write that report. You had 30 days to finish that project and you waited to two days before the project was due. You didn't do your best. There are times when a friend's birthday came up. You wasn't doing anything. You just didn't feel like it. And so you didn't do a thing for them. You didn't do your best. There are times when you had to plan something, do something, apply for something, and you waited until the very last minute. You were not doing your best. And guess what? It's okay. But like my girl Ayana says, we have to call a thing a thing because change does not happen if we avoid the truth. You can transform anything, but we cannot change what we will not acknowledge, right? We can transform all things through the truth. Listen, I don't have a judgment. I have positive regard for you. Right? I have positive regard for you. If I didn't, I couldn't do the work I do. I believe in you. Sometimes, even when you're not believing in yourself, I actually hold that space for you until you can pick it back up for yourself. So what does that mean? This is what I want you to do. I want you today to stop saying you did your best, to stop accepting that when you know it's not true. If your video doesn't match your audio, you just have to live up to that. Here's the formula for measuring whether or not you did your best. Here, right, get the pen, because this is it. This is it. This is the gym. Here it comes. It's called the EIE. The EIE. What is the EIE, Imani? I'm glad you asked. The EIE is your effort, intention, and energy. Your effort, intention, and energy. Are you showing up with the right kind of effort and discipline that gets you what you want? Have you set an intention? Do you have goals, a strategy, a plan to execute? Your energy, what is your energy present? If you're just coming in like that, and you have no excitement or no passion toward what it is you're kind of do, you're trying to do, then you don't have your best energy for it. So if your EIE is not lining up, did you really do your best? When you knew better, did you do better? And you might say, well, Imani, if if you if people knew better how to do better, they would do it. No, that's not true. I love you. But that's not true. So here's the thing. The brain has one job, and that is our survival. And sometimes it recognizes danger where there is no danger, right? That's, that's what some of us experience. And so it pushes us into places that are comfortable, that are familiar, even when they're painful, right? Even when it's painful, we will stay in places that are comfortable, familiar, and it's what we know. It's the devil we know. But it does not mean we are doing our best. And it does not mean we don't actually know better. Come on now. There are times when you're sitting in your office, you know that you're not doing your best. And that's okay. But here's the thing. I want you to have 
everything you desire because what you desire, you deserve. And to get on the other side, to transform those things in your life that you want to transform, right? You got to be willing to put forth that EIE. You have to be willing to put forth that energy, that intention, and that effort. The discipline is the effort. Look, you're not going to like everything. It's not going to feel good, but when you are, when you know that you're uncomfortable, you're actually stretching and growing. That's how you know you're stretching and growing because growth happens in discomfort, I'm not talking about pain. I'm talking about discomfort. The discomfort that comes when you are doing something new, right? The huge stress that comes from when you are going into new territory and you are excited. And there's a part of you that's a little bit like, uh, I don't know what's on the other end of it, but I know it's good. And if you have the intention, which means you put forth the energy toward a strategy, a plan that you were teachable. So you got the things you need to know how to get on the other side that you're putting forth the energy the intention and the effort and that is when you know that you've done your best don't play games with yourself don't play games with your dreams don't tell yourself things that aren't true look i'm here to bring you the truth to keep it real the authentic truth right because that's what's on the other side of where you want to be listen I'm here with you. I got you. I'm going to rock with you all the way through. I'm going to drop the gems until you get the one that manifests the change for you. So I didn't think I was going to be able to make a video this week. It's been so busy, but I did. Here we are. I hope you have a wonderful weekend and I will see you next week. Until then, guess what? I wish you peace. I wish you love.